Right guys, it is finally here, FM18. We've been waiting a long time. The beta is finally out and I'm just quickly going to show you, especially for new players, how to really set up a new game because there are a lot of conf confusing uh, settings when you first start the game. Just gonna quickly run you through them. Now, uh, this screen is actually changed. It's a lot more aesthetically pleasing right now. I'm just gonna click on a random country because it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go Portugal, I'm gonna go Sporting, why not? You wanna click Advanced Setup every time because when you just press uh, Quick Start, you're gonna miss out on a lot of important settings. The first things you'll notice is above here, is where you can actually choose, I press this button by the way to add and remove leaks, uh, which leaks are actually loaded. Now a leak that is not loaded means uh, it will not have players uh, in them. And there's also an, uh, an option to partially load a leak, but I'm going to show you that in a minute. So for instance, I'm managing Portugal. Which countries do I think are important when I'm managing in Portugal? It's going to be Spain, of course, Italy, probably all the top flight um, leaks are important because it just adds a bit to the realism of the entire thing. Brazil's, well, I'm going to keep it in, but... Um, the thing is, when choosing these leaks, you can't just click them all because that will tank the performance of your computer and FM18 in general a huge amount. So what you want to do is just click on the important ones, like I'm from Holland, so I'm obviously going to click Holland just to follow the leak. Uh, I like Belgium, like Ireland could be interesting. Let's see, Scotland, Russia is nice. This probably looks alright. I'm going to... Uh, get the USA in there because it's interesting so when you do this you can see here the estimated game speed now three star is uh, pretty pretty good it won't really uh, be frustrating the loading times uh, a thing you can do to decrease this estimated game speed, or to make it better you can change the database from small to large which just influences how much players are actually loaded in the game for instance on a small database you can see it drops by like 6,000 players it will um, remove like the the bad free agents from the game it will also remove a few uh, younger players for instance if some uh, uh, second tier French team has a 16 year old it probably won't load the other thing you can do is select uh, which leaks from the country you will actually want loaded. Like, I'm not really interested in a fourth tier of Scottish football when I'm managing in Portugal. So this is probably going to go to Championship or Premiership only. And if you do that with a few uh, things, Premier League in Italy, only Top Flight Holland, uh, French second tier, England is fine, first division, first division. I want all the Portuguese leaks loaded if I'm managing in Portugal. Major League Soccer only. That uh, helps the uh, performance of the game as well. Now you see here the mode is playable and the other option is view only. View only basically means that the game, uh, the leaks are loaded, but not so much as that you can actually play it. When, the when a league is in view only, most players will be able, to, you will be able to sign. The only thing is that you can't actually go to that league to manage in them. And it helps out its performance really, really much because when it is in view only, it doesn't simulate all the matches. So that obviously saves a lot of CPU. Like I'm not gonna go to USA, I know that for certain. I'm not gonna go to Scotland, Russia, Italy, Ireland, Holland. German's pretty good. I'm not gonna go to France, not gonna go to Brazil or Belgium. You can see the estimated game speed is actually five stars now, so it will load without even a little bit of loading time. Well, obviously, there's a bit of loading time, but it's to be uh, neglected really. Now, I can select the large database, it will go down to four and a half stars, which is still really good. One other thing that you can do uh, to the database is go to advanced here and select continents, regions, nations or divisions that you want uh, like super loaded is the term I'm gonna use. If you select for instance uh, nations, I'm gonna quickly scroll down to Portugal so you can see. It gives you the option to load more players from Portugal. So you can see pl players of nationality of Portugal, 
uh, international players there are not a lot because most of the internationals of Portugal are obviously already loaded uh, player from top clubs already loaded probably but players based in nation just means that all the Portuguese players and some extra free agents will be loaded so if you choose like those that shouldn't tank the performance that much you just have the few extra options that you wouldn't otherwise have now you want to go easy on this before entirely tanking the database if you add for instance an entire continent let's say Europe and you just say like national reputation continental reputation and based in nation you can see here the player count goes like it multiplied by six I believe and it will tank the um, it will tank the game speed all the way down to basically unplayable so you don't want to do that just be be relatively careful with it I don't want Algeria I don't know if I clicked that or not but you want to be careful with your game speed because uh, if you got a low game speed or like low IC as three stars or less then it might get frustrating to load all the breaks between games for let's say uh, you have a game on the first of a month and then there's an international break and then you play again on the 15th if that time that you're basically not doing anything takes like 10 minutes it's really easy to get frustrated with the game so you want to be careful and keep your game speed relatively high except if you want to do a journeyman save and a journeyman save basically is loading basically every league available and just traveling around them now if you're doing something like that and you want to keep all the options open prepare for long loading screens and it's just the cost of doing a journeyman save so keep that in mind the advanced options down here are the last things I really talk about because the rest is pretty easy uh, the use fake players and stuff basically replaces every player in the game with a fake one and I don't really see the point of it I guess if you wanted to have a fully uh, virtual and fantasy world it would be nice but it's not really something that gets used a lot do not use real fixtures as an option to not reuse the real competition rosters for instance if you're managing in a Premier League and you don't want to have the hellish run that for instance Everton have now then you can tick this and it will be randomized again do not add key staff is basically the option of not adding staff to um, clubs which don't have enough staff so it's basically saying to the sites with uh, a few vacant spots and staff well you just do you and you get new stuff yourselves I'm not gonna uh, instruct to get stuff of your force to get stuff in your side so this is probably always ticked on almost every save because if you got like if the boards say you can hire 20 scouts and you've got 13 then the game will add seven extra scouts for you and it's not really that ideal also in terms of wages so I recommend ticking this one at place to playable team I always always tick this one because it basically means that when you uh, play a team which is maybe lower down or on view only or something like that uh, the game will add players if they don't have enough players so you if you don't have enough players in your side you will get these great out weird fake players and they they just aren't any fun so I recommend ticking the add players to playable teams I do think that tanks the game speed a bit but it shouldn't do a lot it doesn't do actually just just don't mind me I'm talking bullshit disable first window transfer budget is the option well it speaks for itself really if you want a really realistic save because uh, football manager takes into account uh, the money that a club has spent in the transfer window for instance Everton has spent quite a lot of money on players so when you start a game with Everton they probably won't have as much money as you might expect now if you disable the first window it won't be a problem because everything is pulled equally just like in real life when the season started disable player attribute masking is an, quite an interesting option it's also probably the one that's most diverse with players of FM uh, 17 and 16 and so forth uh, this basically means that when you look at a, at a player that you have not scouted you will be able to see his attributes now I personally uh, don't like that I like to really uh, use the scouting and not just be able to view every player 
But if you want to go uh, quicker and don't want to bother with the entire procedure of scouting a player and scouting him further and then evaluating him, and if you don't want to do that, feel free to um, to tick this box. It will disable the attribute masking. It will just show you the stats. If you don't have it ticked, then you will have to scout the players. And of course, some players will already be scouted. For instance, if you're playing as Everton, of course, a Paul Pogba will be scouted perfectly already. Prevent teams which already have managed from being controlled speaks for itself. This basically uh, forces you to not pick a team that already has a manager. And at the start of a save, it mostly means that you have to start unemployed. It's not really something I personally enjoy unless I really want to start unemployed for, in, for instance, a journeyman save. And prevent use of the in-game editor. Now with the in-game editor, you can basically change everything. You can make the worst player the best player on earth. You can make the worst team the best team on earth. So if you're planning on a really serious save, you probably should tick this box just to not get in a temptation. Also, uh, when the editor is enabled in your save, you can't disable it. So, at least to my knowledge, it was that way in FM17. I haven't actually tested that yet. But yeah, it seems like a good idea that if you're serious about a save to always tick this box. Now, I don't believe that the in-game editor is available in the beta as of yet. It will probably come out with the game as a DLC option for probably five bucks or something like that come uh, November 10th. So you probably don't have to worry about it in a beta, but if you're serious and you don't want to spoil your save, just make sure to click this box here. In the right hand corner here, you can choose when you want to start your save. Now, I'm managing in Portugal and want to be as early there as I can be. So the earliest is early 2017-18 pre-season. So it's already selected, so that's absolutely fine. If you want to skip ahead a bit, that's also fine. Like the start of the season or something that's totally fine so let's quickly start the game it's gonna load this takes a minute so i will see you there all right then we arrive at this screen this is basically your manager profile so who are you in the game i've already made a quick profile just to test some things for this video i'm gonna create a new profile from scratch to show it to you now my name is jesse my channel is named Ergo FM. There we go. I am a Dutch. I'm not gonna bother with any of this really. Sporting is fine. Preferred formations, responsibilities, social networks. It doesn't really matter. The only thing that can be useful is this, but you can also sell that when you're in game at your club. So the things I mostly do here is just untick the manage friendly matches because I never do that. But feel free when you do that. It's all up to you, really. So just don't really bother with this. If it annoys you in-game, you can uh, change it always. So Then to the appearance, go wild. Go absolutely wild. The generate 3D model from your photo thing is really fun. It was in FM17 as well. And it basically constructs a 3D model of any picture that you put in. And it's really good fun because most of the time it looks absolutely shit but that's what makes it funny also the hairstyle thing has changed a lot I'm not even sure what this is it's like a, an afro with a hairband all right it looks really weird in this pic here but all right just just go wild on this one it's really it, it has nothing to do with the save at all this does however the managerial style and your uh, coaching badges and your past playing experience they mostly base uh, how or the, they um, how do you say that? Well, they define uh, how good of a manager you actually are in the game. So right now, it's suggested badges and uh, the past playing experience for the choice of sporting that I made. So it assumes that I've got the top badge because this is the best one, and that I was a really good footballer because I'm managing a really high and good side. Now, if you want to start low or you just want to start like a realistic save and just start from scratch feel free to just turn all these things down to none and Sunday League footballer of course but you can really play around with it I really like to um, like I, I, I mostly I manage the 
not top side so i'll start in like a, a good team in like a second division of germany or italy so uh, when you do that you might just want to go somewhere in the middle like this and based on those choices you get points now those points you can put into attributes this is just like a player has attributes you have attributes as well you might want to be relatively smart with this um, don't bother with any of this stuff just uh, do what you like the mental attributes don't really influence anything at all like determination does nothing in game player knowledge does very limited stuff these things might do something now that the new dynamics uh, system is in work i'm not sure so you might want to pop a few points in these youngster knowledge is also pretty good to have but i'm just gonna uh, put that down to one because it really doesn't matter with this slider you can divide the points more evenly or less evenly if you want if you want to be a better coach on the actual training pitch then slide it to the left if you want to be a better tactical manager slide it to the right i mostly go for the uh, better on the pitch thing i mostly max out some of these things like i'll go 9 uh, 20 on attacking because then i won't need an attacking coach when i am at the club like i don't i can easily hire a goalkeeping coach so i can max out defending as well so just be smart about it like that tactical mental technical working with youngsters all pretty valuable but not as valuable as fitness defending and attacking in game when you're done with that i'm just gonna quickly put the points away same for here when you've done that it will show you this screen additional managers is not something you need to worry about if you're playing alone you can just click start playing and then you're in i'm just gonna quickly title it a test and it will save the game automatically and then you're in and that's really it it's it's an intimidating uh, sets of screens at first like when i first started playing fm16 i was confused by everything and there weren't really any good guides on the uh, on youtube for it so i figured this uh, this one might help you and i i hope it does really because the settings that you set at the start of the game can really influ influence how your save goes so i hope to help you with that now if you liked the video please leave a like if you found it helpful please subscribe and i will be back for part two in which i explain all the things that you need to check off your checklist when you just started a new save like this. And I will see you there. Thanks for watching.